Oh hi, it's your host, aesthetic memester Frank Jeff C. Um, I hope you had a fun time last night because I know I sure did. So this morning, before I kick you out of my obviously rented studio kitchen, I'm gonna make you a Mexican breakfast. For those of you who don't know what chilaquiles is, chilaquiles is Aztec for chili water, edible plant. So I'm gonna make you some edible plant chili water. So for this recipe, you're gonna need some tortillas, uh, two Roma tomatoes shipped specifically from Rome. And now we're gonna use a clove of garlic. And I got some California chili peppers and some Japanese chili peppers because Iku Iku Senpai. So let's get to cooking. So what you're gonna wanna do is fill up a little pot with some water. And don't forget to ignite that shit. And now using a little bit of vegetable oil, pour it on a pan and coat the entire pan with a vegetable oil. This is for your chips. And then ignite that shit. Next what you're gonna wanna do is cut off the tips of your tomatoes, like, like this. And then cut them into like quarters. Now let's take our little tomato friends for a sizzling hot bath. Now remember to dry your board because you don't want to get it too wet, if you know what I mean. Next, what we're going to want to do is chop up the chilies. So cut off the tips and then take out all of the seeds from inside them. You could use your hands or like the knife if you want. And remember kids, right after touching chilies, be sure to always touch your eyes, your genitals and finger your butthole. Next, make sure to cut these little japanese peppers. Uh, we went to this Mexican market and they said Japanez and I was like, hey, isn't that uh, Spanish for Japanese? And then we were like, let's just buy them anyway. Next, what you're going to want to do is get your dead chili uh, flesh and put it in a blender. Like so. And fill it up with equal parts water. So. Next, you're going to want to add the cloves of garlic into the concoction. And then close that shit up. Now clear your chopping board, because that's still going to do some more chopping. So next, what you're going to want is about 18 individual tortillas, and you're going to want to cut them up into little triangles. The main reason we want to cut them up into triangles is like, I like chopping things into sixes, because six is a cool number. Like, six is actually just, you know, three times two, and then um, nine is actually six plus three, and for some strange reason, those numbers are really spooky. Don't ask me, because I have no idea why, but those numbers are just extra spooky to me, for some strange reason. There, and now we should have something that looks like cute little pizzas. And now that you chopped it up to look like this, cut them into even smaller pieces, because you have to make it bite size. You have to make them like, you know, the size that you want to eat with like a spoon or fork or whatever utensils, fucking chopsticks for all I care. But make sure that they're small enough to be, you know. Next, what you're gonna wanna do is over the heated pan with the oil, put them in there and let them, you know, crisp and stuff. Cause you're gonna wanna make your chilaquilas super crispy. You're gonna wanna stir them around so that they each get, you know, a little bit of oil, if you know what I mean. So now that the tomatoes are boiling, you turn it off and then you take them out of the boiling water and then you put it inside the, the blending thing. Also known as the magic bullet that we have. Um, I don't know if they, they, they sell them at like Costco or like CVS. So. Any places where they have things, I'm pretty sure you can just get one of those. I remember when I was a little kid, I, I really wanted one because like I had this idea where I wanted to just blend a bunch of foods together and see which ones tasted good. But then my family was like, no, fuck you. And you blend it. Next, once the chips are crunchy enough, or as um, this Mexican lady on fucking YouTube who I just ripped off a recipe said, it's muy crunchy. You pour in the tomato paste, and make sure to stir it around. Remember kids, if you feel a sharp 
stinging in your eyes or nose due to the chili pepper. That's how you know it's working. Next, you're gonna need about this much salt and you're just gonna wanna pour it over the thing with your hands or with like a spoon if you actually measure like a person who uh, knows what they're doing. But since I have no actual idea what I'm doing, I'm just putting a spoonful of salt, hoping that maybe things will be okay. Now, you know me, people on the internet, and how much I love my uh, queso. So what you're gonna wanna do is just shove a shit ton of cheese in it. And just keep on putting cheese in it. And just don't stop putting cheese in it. Just keep. So that is how you make basic as bitch as chilaquilas for all you thotties out there. So I hope you enjoyed uh, watching this video and learning about Mexican breakfast culture with me. You can always put like scrambled eggs or like chicken or meats or like beans if you want. But this is basically how you make it. So I've been your host Frank Jeff C. Um, wishing you nothing but happiness and love. Oh hi. Didn't see you walk in there. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> He's so cute. What a beautiful cat. So majestic. Okay. Nobody cares if you don't have integrity as an artist. It's true. Nobody cares if you don't have integrity. Nobody cares if you don't have integrity as an artist. It's true. Nobody cares if you don't have integrity. 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 Nobody cares if you don't have integrity.